What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And a couple of weeks back, I told you I had some news about Loot Crate, and I would tell you about it as soon as I could. I asked you guys if you wanted to hear about it, and you all said absolutely. Even if you weren't interested in the product, you'd at least like to hear about it. Uh, and this is it. This is finally it. Uh, this showed up in the mail today. It's, it's called Level Up. So basically, this is add-on stuff that you can add on to your additional Loot Crate subscription, Level Up your subscription. Um, and it basically you pay them an extra fee to guarantee certain things to get bonus stuff that you won't get with a normal crate. For example, for like $15, and I think that includes shipping and handling, $15 you can get a t-shirt. And if there's already a t-shirt in the basic crate, it'll be a different t-shirt. So you're going to get a second t-shirt that month. I think for another, I think for $14, uh, you can add an accessory, which would be like a hat or something along that lines. Uh, for $9, you can add a pair of socks. Now, this was in beta last month, so it wasn't open for everyone, um, but it is now open as of today. So if you decide that you're an existing Loot Crate uh, uh, user and you want to upgrade, you can add on this stuff. But before you do that, I I'm going to crack the stuff that was available in July. This is the Heroes 2 Crate stuff, and we're going to see whether or not it's worth the additional money. Now keep in mind, if you want to level up your Loot Crate subscription, or you want to subscribe in time for the Villains 2 Crate, I think the cutoff date for that is the 19th, uh, there's a link in the description box and a coupon code, and if you use that link and coupon code, you'll save some money and I'll make some money, but no, you never have to do that. You can just come back and watch me open mine. Son of a bitch. Ah! Now, right off the bat, I'm seeing actually two pairs of socks, and it looks like you get two pairs of socks uh, for $9.99 instead of one. So, I mean, that's decent. But we got uh, some Batman-style and some Marvel-style socks. I mean, the Batman ones are kind of cute. I actually really, really like this Captain America sock, though. Now, the T-shirt actually looks really cool. Uh, it's one of those two-toned jersey kind of things. Long-sleeved in this case. And... It's got the Batman insignia with what I presume says Batman or something in a language I do not recognize. I'm going to guess Japanese. Is that racist? According to the card that came with it, it is based off of a 1960s Bat manga series by Hiro Kuwata. So I'm not racist after all. And then finally you get two accessories. Uh, this, uh, at least this time we got two accessories. Here is a braided bracelet based off of Legend of Zelda. I mean, it's made of leather and it's got a magnetic clasp. Um, it's very, very small though. This would not fit me. I mean, it's not stretchy. So I don't know, it would not fit me. Uh, this is completely useless to me. I think it'll fit my wife though. Maybe she'll like it. Uh, final level up item uh, is Legend of Zelda related as well. And I think this is a scarf. Yeah. Okay, that is a cool scarf. I, I think it's one of those endless ones, right? So it uh, just <laughs> it just kind of wraps around. I am the prettiest princess. And then you get cards that explain everything that you got and where they came from and things along that lines. I think that's a cool addition. So let's do a quick little recap. An additional t-shirt with shipping and handling included for 15 bucks. That's actually a really good deal. I mean, t-shirts in my merchandise sh shop, I think, are 20. And that doesn't include shipping and handling. So 15 bucks a month to get a nerdy t-shirt, I think that's a good deal. And this t-shirt was actually really good. I'd like it a lot better, Loot Crate, if you, you went up to 6 or 7x. Two pairs of socks for 10 bucks. Okay, that's a, that's a decent deal. Uh, if you're licensed socks like this with a cool pattern on them, you can be paying as much as $10 a pop per pair so, I, I, I don't know, I think that's a good deal. Now, the accessories, I'm disappointed in. And it's not because I don't like the theme. I love the theme, obviously, Legend of Zelda. It's that this just is not, simply not going to fit me, and I don't know, I don't know, a lot of the people I know, this is not going to fit. Um, and, obviously, this scarf, I don't think, is really stylized for, uh, you know, masculine fashion. I think it's probably a, a more feminine style. Uh, and so I think maybe what they've done is targeted women with the additional accessories item. I don't think I would order it if I didn't have my wife to give this stuff to. I'll probably get it again next month to see what it's like for the villains crate. But uh, I mean, otherwise, I don't, I don't know if the accessory stuff is going to appeal to me personally. But as for the accessories, I'll admit that I'm disappointed. And it's not because of the quality of the item. I mean, obviously, this scarf is really nice. And my wife is going to go nuts for it when it gets cold here in Arkansas. Um, the bracelet is nice, but... 
Again, this does not appeal to me. I don't think I'm the target demographic. I think the accessory stuff is targeted towards female looters, which is fine because I think there are plenty of female looters. Hopefully someone we're watching right now, if you are high, um, it doesn't appeal to me personally, but I share all of my loot crate stuff with my wife and I know she's going to be excited to get this stuff. So it, it's kind of a wash. I'll probably get it again next month for villains just to see, just to see what we get. And that's basically the level up program in a nutshell. You pay additional money alongside your loot crate and you get additional stuff. And I think the stuff that we got is pretty decent. The accessories are okay. My wife will like them. The t-shirt is incredible and that's a really good deal. If you need socks, and I guess everybody does, that's a good way to get socks. I think by and far the most popular option will be the t-shirt option. And in fact, I would imagine if they offered it separate from Loot Crate, a lot of people would just subscribe to get a random monthly weird t-shirt. Um, but I don't know if they'll ever do that. I still like getting Loot Crate and I would kick myself if I only got the t-shirt and then Loot Crate had a t-shirt in it as well. I'd hate myself for it. Now I know that I desperately want your feedback and I know the guys over at Loot Crate want your feedback as well. So do me a favor, leave a comment and let me know what you think about the Level Up program, what you think about Loot Crate overall. And if you decide you wanna get Loot Crate for yourself or you wanna level up your Loot Crate, there are links in the description box below. And if you use coupon code B-O-O-G-I-E-2988 at checkout, you'll save some money and I'll make some money, but no, you never have to do that. You can always come back next month and watch me open mine. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you very much. I'll speak with you again soon. I wish to tell you the tale about my poor dog, Peter.